All right, I've got my regular thousand dollars in halves, so I'm gonna get started and uh, I'll show you guys what I find. All right, I found one here right on the end. It's a yeah, 1976, which is weird because I've seen these silver online, but I've never I never found one. I mean, that rim is very obviously not clad. Sometimes they're painted too. Guys will paint them, and it's not painted. It's it's legit. So maybe I just found my first one. I've never seen one before in person, so I'm gonna have to look into this more. But so far, tentatively, that is one. I mean, you you look, it's it's freaking obvious. But I'll get back to you. All right, like three rolls later, found this one here. The third one from the left. Which is now the second one, because I don't move. Uh, 1969. So, first guaranteed silver of the day. I still have no idea what that is. I'm going to look up that in a couple minutes. But, uh, yeah, the 1976 bicentennial on this one here. I think that might be a proof, because it actually feels lighter than this one does. And this has silver in it, 40%. So, all right. All right, I got another one. This here is why you check all the dirty ones, because you can't really tell. On the end here, I saw it had the like, yellowish patina to it. That's how you know it's, it's silver. Most of the time they are. It's a 1969. Really dirty, 1969. So that's two, and I've still got a little over half the case to do. I probably write about half the case, but uh, I'll keep checking. All right, just found another one. This one here, um, before I get to this, we did determine that this one is a proof, which I kind of thought because when you tap two of them together, it doesn't sound anything like a silver coin, um, or when you just drop it on the table, that as opposed to that. It's obvious. I mean, it, this is a 40 percenter. Um, now, the 1976S proof or 1976S proof, yeah. That one is 40% silver. This one, however, is just a proof that uh, was part of a set that got lost because it's no mint mark. So we looked it up and found it in a forum. Some guy said it probably have a proof that belonged to a set, and there it is. So, a proof. Cool. And I found this little guy over here. I keep finding these out. I don't know what the fascination is with them, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I found another one of these. So this one here is, dirty as I'll get out, a 1966, so another 40%er. So that makes three 40 percenters and a proof and a fuggly coin over here. And I've still got four rolls left, or three rolls left for that first case. And then uh, this case here, I'll start on this one. So I'll let you know. All right, found another one. Second roll in to the second case. This one right here. Can't even tell. Ah, oh, 1967. All right, so that's the first one for the second case. That'll make four total for the day so far. And uh, I'll get back to it. All right, found another one right here. If I can get it out. Is a 1968, and that was probably like eight, nine rolls later. Uh, yeah, 1968. So the second one for this case, and I'll get back to you. All right, got another one. It was like six rolls later. This one here. Ha! 1964. <laughs> 90 percenter. All right. So I'll get back to this. Turn into a good case. First 90 percenter. You can hear that ting. <laughs> two two 40 percenters and a 90 percenter for this case so far. All right. All right. Got one here. Nineteen sixty-five. That makes four for this case. 
And I've still got nine rolls left to check. So let's go. All right, total fines for today. The first case, if I can get it to focus. And there it goes. 1969, another 69, and a 66. And then 1976 proof coin and this guy, which I usually keep these just for the hell of it. And then second case, uh, 1964, 90%er, 1965, a 67, and a 68. So the total for the day is 7 uh, with one 90%er. So it's a pretty good day. So uh, until next week, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned look for next video.